Hello, at this tutorial we're going to highlight very briefly some rules related to for loops. The first thing I'd like to show you is that how to properly format a for loop. And for that, let's take an example. Let's say that I'd like to print a counter value from 1 to 10 using for loops to repeatedly call my printf condition. I can simply type in my for loop keyword and I can start by initializing the loop counter. I can use i and set that equal to 1 since I want to print from 1 to 10. And then my for loop run condition, and that's while i is still less than or equal to 10. And then put a semicolon here and then increment my loop counter. That's how I like to format my for loop. I would leave spaces before and after the operator, same thing here. Um, with the plus plus, you don't need to leave a space. And then put the semicolon at the end of the first statement. And then put a space after the semicolon. This is exactly how I like to format my for loop. And now I'm simply going to print the loop counter. And uh, I can write something like counter is equal to uh, an integer and add a new line, and I can pass in the loop counter i. Okay, that's how to write a for loop. Now, there is a specific rule, specific safety rule for for loops, and that is you should never use magic numbers as a for loop counter uh, condition or termination condition. This way, if you had to change this number later, or if you used it for multiple loops, you don't have to go over all the for loop instances and change them, you can simply change it with a define. So for that, the correct way to do it is to use a define. I can do counter max, I can set this equal to 10. Now a good practice for setting define is to always surround them with brackets. This way, if you had to do any arithmetic here, like maybe 5 times 2, whatever, you're going to be protected all the times because this is going to guarantee this operation is done first before it gets substituted here in, uh, in our code. So always you put brackets uh, with your defined value. Okay, now simply we're going to replace this magic number 10 with our counter define. This way is going to be really safe. We ever had to use another for loop with the same counter as soon as uh, whenever we need to uh, change this counter we don't have to go individually to those for loops you can simply just change the defined number okay now let's just have a little bit of fun let's build the code and run it just to make sure it works exactly as we would expect so open the executable file and exactly this printed the counter from 1 to 10 and that's all i want to show you at this video